Morning guys, it's 10 o'clock on Thursday and this is our lovely weather. It is so foggy. The guys are over there working on the house in the fog. I said to Ash, please call me when you get to work so I know you got there safe and sound. She's like, fine. It's just dense fog. We've had more fog in the last couple of weeks than we had all year last year. Usually you can see for streets and streets, but not today. I wonder if that's my friend's company. I used to work for a guy that did construction. Alrighty, I'm going to go downstairs, make a bacon sandwich. Watch a little bit of TV for about half an hour with my bacon sandwich and then go start inputting more stuff in the office. I got all the senior quotes I picked up yesterday. See you in a bit. Okay, just made myself a piping hot cup of tea. Try not to get the rest of the mess on the table. And a nice bacon and egg sandwich using my egg cooker. You really do need to get hold of Sherry and get one of those. I will put Sherry's link to her YouTube channel in the description below because if you haven't ordered Pampa Chef and you've been looking for a rep, she's the one to go to. And uh, service with a smile. But anyway, yeah, that's really, I'm loving that, that's for sure. I have my Christmas tree candle going, fresh balsam, can never say that. And um, I've watered my plants, watching a bit of Amber Pump Rules just while I finish watching Steve's vlog. This is. Oh! Yeah. I'm gonna give Steve V a shout out today. I love his channel. Roxy's getting under my arm, so you're knocking the camera out of focus, madam. Um, Right, you're not knocking it out of focus, it's out of focus. Anyway, give Steve V a look. He does daily vlogs, he's on number 27. Uh, he's got beautiful family and his lovely wife. She's a little shy, she doesn't like to be on the vlogs yet, which I get. It took me a long time. I started vlogging and for the longest time I didn't go into the vlogs at all. And it wasn't until Ashley got really busy that I started to appear in my own vlog, so anyway, with a little help from my friends. But anyway guys, I'm going to go eat my sandwich while it's nice and warm, finish watching Steve's vlog, and then I'm going in the office to do my inputting. And the house smells fantastic between the bacon and the Christmas tree. And I put it on because I'm making the most of it this year. I am not going to not sit down here and enjoy. Louie's been laying under the tree, so I need to go and straighten out the tree skirt. And that's Ashley's boots I need to wrap. I need to go get my cards, but I figured if I work, work inside today, if Ash wants to go out when we get home for a little bit, <coughs> I can do that. Pete's working on a job. <clears throat> it's been back and forwards. We didn't think he was going to do this job before Christmas because it's a bunch of model shots um, for a website. Um, so anyway, he's there. He bought them donuts for breakfast, and he'll no doubt be buying everybody lunch. He said he's got to take care of his clients. <coughs> he rented his friend's studio for the day. Anyway, well, that is it because I really want to eat. It smells good and I don't want my tea to go cold. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye guys. Okay, I ate. And here's my little stack for today of in pudding. I'm just watching watching Meet the Millers. Very rare do I wear jeans, but look. They're going to the beach to get chips. I want to go. And I've got to open up my program, I was just checking my thing on here, and look, I have my buddy behind me. Hi Roxy! She's looking at this lovely fog we have out here. My sandwich was delicious by the way, my cup of tea is now empty. And I have to shut the dogs in here because when the mailman comes they go flying for the mailbox. So, we're just going to do some work, I'm going to watch vlogs, work, and feel accomplished. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's about 10.30 on Thursday night. Um, I worked in the office till about 5 and then uh, Ash came home and then she left and then Pete came home. But I got a bit nervous because Ash was supposed to be home around 3.15 and, you know, I don't like to bug her. I know there's times when she could end up staying later and later, but usually she'll text and say she's staying late. Well, I guess she thought she had, but she hadn't. 
So around 5.30 I sent her a text and she called me around 6. Was it about 6? What was that? 5.15 and she called me at 5.30. I don't remember and she said, oh, she got ended up having to stay late. But the worst thing is she got there at 8.30 this morning. She didn't leave till 5.30 and the poor kid had nothing to eat. She didn't have a break or anything. And I don't think that's right. But uh, at least she's off tomorrow. So she's over at her boyfriend's tonight. Uh, Pete's day went well, he said, and he's now working in his office where he always is. So I'm up here watching Christmas movies and I just watched the saddest Christmas movie ever that had me in the ugly cry. It was just sad. So if ever you watch the Hallmark Channel, um, stay away from Christmas in Conway <laughs> if you don't want to cry. <coughs> I mean, I know the sentiment and the the moral of the story and all that, but it was just really sad. So I'm all bunged up now because of that. Um, finally, the cough is not hardly anything. I have coughed a little bit today, but not much at all. So I think that is finally out of my system once and for all. It seems like a lot of people's traditions is they buy new pajamas for Christmas. It was always something we did as a kid. My mum always got my brother and I new pajamas and then we would put them on Christmas Eve so that way when we woke up in the morning we had our new pajamas on. So does anyone else go with that tradition? Um, it's a good one if you ask me. Ashley already picked a pair and she said these were going to be hers. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so who gets new pajamas for Christmas and puts them on Christmas Eve? Anyway guys, I'm going to love and leave you because like I said, I'm just going to be rambling. Um, and I will definitely talk to you tomorrow and hopefully, oh, as I fall over, hopefully tomorrow's vlog will be a lot more interesting. I still have not been out of the house. I don't think I've been out all week except when I went to the school yesterday and then over to the deli for lunch. So still no shopping done and uh, that's not good. So it's just another week behind. So this weekend, whether I have company or not, I have no idea what Peter's got on the schedule for this weekend. He always seems to be working, so I will have to get out one way or another. <laughs> Roxy's looking at me now. So anyway, guys, we're going to love and leave you for tonight. I hope everyone had a fantastic day. And tomorrow's Friday. Take care. Bye.